The Weekly Weekly. <laughs> oh gosh. Man, I'm really feeling like a rap battle coming on. I wish I had somebody to battle. Hey, hey. You want to battle? Sure. Cool. Let's go. What if zombies eat your brains? What if vampires suck your veins? What if? What if? What if an asteroid destroys the earth? What if your puppies can't give birth? What if? What if? What if your airplane falls from the sky? What if you poop your pants and die? What if? What if? What if a zombified vampire eats your brains and sucks your veins? While the big old asteroid destroys the earth and all of the puppies can't give birth. While millions of airplanes fall from the sky and you poop your favorite pants and die. That's a bit extreme. What if? What if? What if? What if? Catch you later. Yeah. Okay. Hey, are you wearing my hat? Hello! Welcome back to the Weekly Weekly. I'm John Caleb. Let's get started. Disaster, disaster everywhere. Disaster, disaster in my hair. It seems like nowadays, everybody, any movie you see, anything on TV, anything on the news, everyone is talking about the end of the world. We have people saying there's going to be a zombie apocalypse, which... Sounds kind of crazy. Do you guys believe in the zombie apocalypse? Post below, tell me what you think about zombies. This this will be an interesting comment section. But I was thinking, if we're going down in flames, we might as well look good while we do it. So, here's a few military-inspired fashion tips for all you zombie slayers out there. Hopefully we'll never have to use our zombie apocalypse outfits because I just, I don't really want to run from zombies. That, that doesn't sound like fun. And on a more serious side of things, the end of the world. You know, a lot of people have a lot to say about the end of the world and I think that can make a lot of people scared. Uh, there might be people out there, maybe you, who you are terrified of what's going to happen when it ends. And I know when I was younger, I was a lot, I was really scared too. But I wanted to encourage you today with um, just a few, a few things that God says about the end of the world. Well, first and foremost is, he says that nobody knows the day or the hour. Um, there's going to be a lot of people, I feel like, saying, oh, this is how it's going to happen, or this day, like the Mayans, they predicted it, the world is ending, ah! Well, you know what? God is the only one who knows when everything is going to end. And he also gives us a lot of encouragement for when things do start happening that we just don't understand. Um, in John 16, 33, he says that um, in this world you have many trials, but take heart for I have overcome the world. And you know what? That really encourages me and I hope that encourages you too. That yes, there's going to be a lot of things that we go through and it might not be 
end of the world things. It might seem like the end of the world to us, but Jesus promises that he has gone through all the things that we ever could have and that he overcame and that that's the same promise that we have. So I just wanted to encourage you guys today, one, try out some fun new military inspired fashion looks and two, don't fear, don't worry about the end or what's going to happen because God's promised that he has overcome the world and that if we're with him that we can be overcomers too. All right. I'll see you guys next week, and thanks for tuning in to The Weekly Weekly. Bye. The Weekly Weekly! <coughs> oh gosh.